Are you a true person of God is the question I ask. You have done some truly questionable things, but yet you sit and judge so many others. You turn your nose up at people and gossip behind people's backs every chance you get. You refuse to give a sweet little old lady a ride home from church less than a minute away because she didn't have any money to pay you. She could have paid you in wisdom and love, but money was more important. And the sad part is, you are the pastor's wife. Where were you, pastor, when your elderly church member needed you to look out for them when they didn't have a dime to pay their light bill or when they needed help paying their rent to keep a roof over their head? Let's not forget about your 50 plus year member who couldn't afford to have a ramp built when they got sick. And instead of helping them, there was a vote. And the vote was not to help that church member of 50 plus years over 80 plus years old. Hmm. I ask you, where is the God in any of that? I thought you were supposed to visit your sick members and give communion to them every first Sunday. And in the event you have too many people to get to, you have a sick ministry that's supposed to do this as well so why didn't this happen when one of your oldest church members was sick I have one more question how is it you as a pastor didn't know your 50 plus year church member and you had to ask the family for information to preach their funeral you don't declare someone a bishop once they have left this earth because the truth is, they know nothing about it. This was just for show, and I was not impressed. You give people their flowers while they are still here on earth and able to enjoy them. Show genuine love, and not fake love for the sake of pretending to be doing God's work, and then act like a butthole once you think it's safe to do so. Remember, God sees all and knows all. So you're not getting away with anything because he already know everything that has been done and everything that has not been done. And remember this, you are no better than anyone else here on this earth. You are no better, no better than anyone else, just like I'm no better than anyone else. And if you're going to live for God, then live for God.